friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and today's project is my Snowflake Puff Granny Square. It's got a puff down here, and I love the colors. That, I love these colors together. It's a uh, Mainstays 100% cotton yarn. Uh, you could use, I love this cotton, you could use just about anything. It's a nice little four weight, really nice cotton and white, and this one is Lion Brand Summer Nights. It's very shiny. It's very tiny. It's a super fine. Super fine and there's just it's all sparkly and different shades of blue and I thought when I saw that I said I see I see snowflakes. So this is great. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I figure he's adorable. You make a hundred of them and put them into a big quilt. And I am going to use what Derek calls my huge Harry Potter ones because I had a request from Suzanne to actually make something with these giant hooks. So I'm going to take out the five, which is this guy right here, written on there very nicely. And he's huge, remember? My Harry Potter magic wand. So let's make something magic. So this is for you, Suzanne. I'm going to give this, I did not use that on this one, but I'm going to use it now and see how it turns out. All right, so for the very first round, we're going to be doing this little flower in the center. And he is just going to be white. No, none of the blue yet. All right, so we're going to make a magic circle. And if you're unfamiliar with a magic circle, you can use any way that you know how to make a little ring. Or you can watch my tutorial. It's only a couple of minutes long. This shows you how I do my easy peasy because it's so simple. I know it looks complicated in the first couple times you do that. It's go, oh my goodness, this is just silly. I don't want to do this, but it's really simple. All right, so I'm going to use this great big hook. So we're ready to go. Here's our ring. Okay, first we're going to chain one. All right, so there's our chain one. Now we're going to yarn over. And don't make these too tight, or you're not going to be able to pull your hook through. But we want to do a five yarn over puff. So there's one, pull up nice and high, two, three, four, and five. All these loops in our hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. There we go. There, we just pulled through all of them. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And do that again. Another puff. two, three, four, and five yarn over puff. Chain three. We want to do that so there's eight puffs in our magic circle. And here's my last puff. Yarn over one, two, three, four, and five. Turn over, pull through everybody, chain three, and now to close off this round, we are going to slip stitch into the closing chain for our very first puff, which is right here. We're just going to slip stitch right there. So we're barely even going to have a seam. This pet, I love this pattern. This one is just, I'm so pleased with this one. So pleased because I don't like having any seams and as you can see here there's not a big seam down the middle or anything you won't see much of a seam which is lovely don't want seams now we just tighten this up a little bit don't want to make it as tight as we usually do Let's see one two three four five six seven eight there's all of our puffs we want to leave a little bit of an opening here just like this one was opening right here Right, and now I'm going to add on my summer nights and what color was this one called? Castaway. It's just a, so many blues. I just love all these blues and they're sparkly. I'm not normally a sparkly yarn kind of person, but this one is just so much fun and it was exactly what I was thinking it would be for a snowflake. See how tiny this is. We are just going to add this in with the white 
or weight that we're already using. First, we're going to take this one and do a slip stitch so that we're now working into this corner or into this loop right here. And now we can add on our blue. So we're just going to continue on and add in the blue. We're going to use the white and the blue at the same time. All right, so we're going to chain two with both yarns. Make sure you catch them both. Adding in this little tiny one won't hurt too much because it won't really take any extra space. It's so tiny. All right, so there's our chain two, and now we're going to put two puffs into this first opening, just like we did down here. So they're five yarn over puffs. One and five. So there's our first one. Make sure we get through all of it. Chain three. One, two, three. And another puff just like it in that same space. One, two, yarn over. Pull through everybody. Like that. Now we're chain two. The first one closes up our puff, and then one more. And in the next space, we want to do four double crochets. One. Two. Three. Oops, and I missed the blue. Three and four. You'll get on a roll here and then you won't miss anymore. I missed the blue a couple of times. Once you get on a roll, you won't. All right, so there's our four. We want to chain two. And then we're going to build another corner, which is two puffs with a chain three in between. So in this next space right here, in between the next two puffs, we are going to do another puff cluster. Another five over. Four and five. Yarn over and pull through everything. With a chain three in between. One more puff. One, two, three, five yarn overs, yarn over again, pull through everything. Chain two. The next space gets four double crochets. And that's our sequence all the way around. And in this last spot was four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And chain two as we do after everything else. And finishing off this round is super simple. All we do is slip stitch into the chain that closed our very first puff. Slip stitch. Bam. No seams. Isn't that nice? So you can see that these are in the corners. Right here. Puffs are in the corners all the way out that. And it'll work up very nicely. So all we have to do, this is pretty much have everything, everything down that needs to happen now. So we're going to slip stitch into this next hole right here. Slip stitch so that we are fully in here. Chain two. Two puffs in the same corner now after our chain two. Yarn over, pull through everything. Chain three in between the puffs. One and five. Yarn over and pull through everything and close it with two. Chain two. So there's our two. 
puffs. There's a chain three in between, and then we just did chain two right here. So we're going to find this spot that's in between this puff and these four double crochets. We're going to put two double crochet in there, in that spot. One, and two. After that spot's done, now we want to put a double crochet in the top of each one of these four. So you're going to come and find the top of him right there. One and four. And also in this space that's in between these four and this puff, we want two double crochets in there. One. So what we ended up doing to increase this so I can keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger is right here with four, we ended up putting an eight. There were two here, two on either side, in here, and four in the center. Now we'll chain two, and now we're going to be working into this corner again where the puffs are going to live. So we're going to do two puffs, two five yarn over puffs. through everything, chain three, and we'll do one more puff in that same space, pulling through everything. Chain one and two, and repeat as we did before. Two double crochets in the space, a double crochet in the top of each one of those four, and two in this space right here. So we ended up with eight. Eight double crochets down this leg right here, which is right here. So that's our sequence all the way around. I'll meet you right back about here in just a moment. There's my last set of two. And then we chain two. And we will place a slip stitch in the top closing chain of our very first puff. So again, there are no seams. I just love that there's no seams. We just did. There's our original one. And the first round and second round with the blue. There's our original one. First and second with the blue. Alright, so I'm just going to drop my blue. I'm not going to disconnect it right now. I'm not going to cut it or fasten it off or anything. It's just going to hang back there. And like we did the first time in this space in between those two puffs, we're going to slip stitch. So we're ready to ready to work our round. There's one, two, three. Now we'll work round four. And by the time we're done with that one, you'll understand everything that's going on here. I'm going to chain two and do our puffs. Chain three and another puff. And chain two to close that off. Right now we're in a bigger round here. So here's our empty spot. There's in between the puff and and the double crochets, there's our chain two. We are going to put two double crochets in there. So that's going to happen on every round. That's where we're getting our increase. Now we'll do a double crochet on the top of every one of these, eight from last time. And then in this space that's in between all of these double crochets and our corner puffs, two double crochet. That's going to happen every time. That's where we get our increases from. So easy, no seams. Now we're at another corner, chain two, two puffs in the corner. And I'll meet you all the way back around here. That is our sequence all the way around. 
There's a puff, a chain three, and a puff. And then we're going to two double crochets in that chain space, double crochet in the top of everything else, two in that chain space, all the way around. I love this pattern, it is so easy. And there's my last chain space. Two double crochets in there. And this round is almost done. Chain two afterwards because we need to connect this round. And we do that with the slip stitch in the chain that closed the very first puff. Again, no seams. So there you go. Isn't that cute? So we just did this round right here. So that's going to happen every time you go around. This is just like a virus blanket. It gets a little bit bigger, but every stitch is the same all the way around. We're going to do two five yarn over puffs with the chain three in between. Chain two, two double crochet right here in this chain space. Double crochet in every double crochet that you had from the previous round. And two in the chain space and then repeat. The puffs are always in the corner. These chain two spaces always get two. So you just keep going and going and going and make it as big as you want. I stopped here because I thought that was a perfect size for my square. So you can see on this one I would have done another round of white right here to match and then picked up my blue for a round and do that any way you want to. However you want to. Whatever pattern you want to make, whatever design you want to make, it will all be beautiful. And you really could use any sock yarn any super fine or fine, a one or a two, I love the ones. A one works perfectly, I think, because you really barely notice that it's even there. It does not make your stitches any, any bigger or any more obvious or anything. It's just a nice little accent color. So there is my snowflake square, my snowflake granny square. Okay, so Suzanne, I used this, I used this hook to make this square. And I would tell you it's not my favorite hook, but it did work. I don't like where it's bent for where I keep my thumb, but perhaps if you're a pencil, if you're a pencil person, it might work better for you. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't. I don't hate it. It worked up nicely. So um, probably for this price point, it might be worth a try. And every one of these is a different shape, so it might just be because I'm using this five, and I don't like the way that this one is shaped. The other ones are probably going to be just fine. It's just where uh, where I keep my thumb is not exactly where I want my thumb to be with where the head is facing. So hopefully that makes sense. But I would recommend this. Um, I don't hate it. I won't use it all the time. But it is a, it is a nice hook. And it's huge. So there you go. It's a magic wand. So I thought I would let you know. Thanks for asking, Suzanne. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Tell all of your friends about me and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.